get ready in uh, replying to the discussion on the demand for a grant relating to motor vehicles the honorable minister said mr speaker sir the speeches made by the honorable members confirm the need for this demand first let me take up the question of tax evasion the honorable member who moved the cut motion wanted tax evasion to be prevented she said that tax evasion had become a scandal and she cited instances from salem and other districts it only confirms the need for having a flying police squad i may inform the house that this squad was appointed only 6 months back for detecting cases of tax evasion but it does not stop there i would like to point out that it also deals with cases of irregularities such as overloading flying vehicles without efficient brakes over speeding etc in addition to the flying squad there are the road transport officers motor vehicles inspectors and police officers who check these motor vehicles it is a pity that in spite of this it is said that there is tax evasion and it is necessary that this should not happen they must take effective steps to prevent this tax evasion and that is why the department is very anxious to see that adequate staff is provided so that the people of the state may not lose their income secondly i shall deal with overcrowding in buses an honorable member raised some questions about overcrowding he said that there was overcrowding because there was not adequate number of vehicles plying on various routes in this connection he also classified some of the owners as bus barons i do not know whether he called them so because they owned buses whatever it is the honorable member wanted that this monopoly must be broken it has been the policy of this government to see that as far as possible this monopoly does not exist i think that there is a rule which says that three buses are the minimum for each individual or a group of individual is considered an economic unit there is no hard and fast rule but at the same time it seems that it is a matter which must be gone into carefully i may assure the house that the government will certainly go into the various suggestions made by the honorable members about this monopoly i myself felt when i was going on my election tour that there was need for additional buses because i saw that the buses were full and cramped but uh, that is a matter to be decided by the local authority if it is found that more buses are necessary in any place it is for the local people to make representation to the regional transport authority if the regional transport authority does not agree to increase the number of buses or to put more vehicles on a particular route i think they must take up with the higher authority i think that if a proper representation is made the local authority will be willing to consider it thirdly i shall deal with reckless driving the honorable member referred to the reckless driving of some of the lorries and buses and the headlights used by them it is true that there are uh, some people who exceed the speed limit but i would like to point out that there are even now rules which fix speed limits for various vehicles on various routes i may assure the honorable member that the concerned authorities whether it is the police officer or the flying squad will see to it that this kind of reckless driving does not occur but at the same time i want honorable members of this house to realize that it is necessary that the owner the driver the conductor and everybody else also should develop a sense of responsibility that they owe to society i am sure the honorable members of this house will help in creating a better road sense and so far as the government are concerned we will do our best in this regard then i was asked why the government wanted five additional regional transport officers now i would like to say that repeated representations have been received that the work in the regional transport offices is not carried out expeditiously so with a view to facilitating the expeditious dispatch of work these five regional transport officers have been appointed i would now request the honorable member 
to withdraw the cut motion.